Deep inside UC Health's hospital, you'll find this biocontainment unit. It's the place where patients carrying highly contagious diseases like the coronavirus can be treated if needed. At first, it looks like most hospital rooms, but then a nurse shows us the special precautions needed to enter when a patient is being treated. Beth Weeks, a nurse and disaster preparedness coordinator, showed our camera how she dons a gown, a protective head cover, and a respirator to keep from becoming infected. And it is blowing air in here um, and continuing that flow out so that when I'm in the room with a patient who might have something um, like the COVID-19 that may be suspended in the air, it's not pulling in here at all. It's all going through the filter and then the air is blowing out. The room is equipped with the ventilation system that pulls air in and then pushes it outside the building. It's called a negative isolation room. And the reason for that is that everybody who's standing outside of this room doesn't incur, doesn't get sick with whatever we're treating inside the room, such as coronavirus, measles, that type of thing. Nurse Weeks and a fellow nurse demonstrate how a patient would receive treatment. In this particular unit, there are three additional rooms and there are others in the hospital. They can also be used to treat Ebola measles and other airborne illnesses. The rooms are critical when it comes to the worst of the worst diseases. UC Health's biocontainment unit on standby, a place no one ever hopes to see.